Hey, it's me again, and I'm just gonna, I'm making another batch of beer today, all grain method. It's an English pale ale, so can't really read it, but I got 10 pounds of mare solder and uh, one pound of caramel crystal malt and one pound of wheat, and it's all mixed in. It's already milled. It's good to go. And then uh, I got two ounces of uh, Challenger hops and for bittering and an ounce of Kent Golding for uh, aroma and yeast. So right now I'll go to the equipment. I'm going to measure out three gallons of uh, water to heat up from this forage water. It's uh, three gallons for my ratio is uh, one quart of water for every pound of grain. So that's 12 quarts. And it's three gallons. Here's my lauder ton, or mash ton. It's got a manifold in it. A ball valve. And uh, this would be my brew pot, five gallon. So I'm going to measure out three three gallons of water and then get it started to heat. Oh, and there's my carboy. So, I'll get back to you. Okay, I, um, I put 170 degree water in my lauder ton to preheat it. And now I'm waiting on three gallons of water to uh, heat up to 170 degrees. And it's about 130 right now, so I got a couple minutes. Ain't much to see yet. It's about 130 right now. My strike water is about 175 now. And now I'm going to drain my uh, preheat water. And then I'm going to then I'm going to transfer three gallons into that. Make sure when you pour your strike water into your mash tun that the spigot's closed so you don't spill anything. An hour later, get a picture of like when I open it. Oh. <laughs> it's an hour later, and that's the grain bed right there. Actually, it's got two minutes left. It's about 154, didn't lose any temperature. I'm gonna start four long. to start Vorloff you do it real slow to make sure it's running clear. Vorloff's a fancy word for recirculation. So you start real slow so you don't get any clogs. It basically runs it through and you 
get some uh, grains coming out of it at first. But uh, you keep recirculating a couple of times until it runs clear, then you start collecting it. grain bed real slow so you don't disrupt the grain bed. Because uh, when you sparge the end of the mash all the grains float to the top and you got the liquid work on the bottom and if you mess up your grain bed you'll have to wait till it settles back out at the top Green bed actually acts as a filter, so you keep recirculating little particles on top, and it'll run through, and then eventually run clear. I'm gonna do it slow at first, so it doesn't clog, and then after you get a couple, do this a couple times, it'll run clear, and then you can do it open full the whole way so that's a nice color too fast to drill a hole right through the rain, rain bed because they're only floating there. <laughs> Sometimes you can just pour it down the side, it won't really hurt it. is very time consuming but it pays off it's not a regular extract method you're actually doing whole nine yards this way can't make beer any more thoroughly than this method <laughs> 